Good evening, everyone. This is Gary Bennett. Welcome to Introduction to iOS Development and Microcontrollers. For those of you that are attending live on GoToWebinar right now, if you could raise your hand, if you could see my screen and, re and uh, hear my voice, I would appreciate it. Make sure everything's working. All right, great. Um, okay, so tonight we're going to be discussing how to connect your Arduino to your iOS device, your iPhone or your iPad. Um, there's a couple ways that we're going to do um, that you can do this. We're going to talk about one of the simpler ways um, using cable. In another topic, and in my live class, my my um, my full hour classes and courses, we'll go through both and in depth on the class library and how to do this. Uh, but tonight's kind of an introduction how to do this. Okay. <clears throat> in order here, I have an Arduino and um, on my Arduino, let me move my camera over and keep it here so that I don't forget that it's showing or not showing. Um, we can see here uh, the transmit and receive headers right down here. Okay. Well, we want to, those take serial inputs and outputs. So we want to send one possible way is to send um, serial information. I'll go over how to do wireless later on, specifically a very special and new type of Bluetooth, which is um, way cool. But one of the one of the more common ways is you may have a device or hardware that you need to send serial information to your Arduino or Raspberry Pi. Well, um, one way is to, to do it with a cable. Here's one cable. This cable here connects to your iPhone or your iPad. Um, it uses kind of the first generation 30 pin connectors, but you can also use the adapter um, for the new, I forget, I want to say fire, lightning, the new lightning uh, connector. Um, the adapter here will work just fine. Now, in order to connect a cable, anything to your iPhone or your iPad, it has to have a specially approved chip in this piece of hardware. doesn't matter what it is. Whatever you're connecting to that iPhone or your iPad has to have a special uh, chip inside that authenticates that the, I, the iPhone or the iPad will allow to connect. And in order to do that, you have to go through Apple's um, MFI program. And I have the website here just a second. In order to do this, um, and quite frankly, it's a pain. Um, it takes a long time to get your hardware certified so you can get that chip inside your device. You have to apply for it. It's not like the developer's program that you apply for and by default you get approved. They do a background check on you. They do a Dun and uh, Bradstreet check on you to make sure the company that you say you are, you are, and you have assets that if you were to uh, put that hardware out there um, and there's returns and uh, issues with your hardware, you have the financial wherewithal to cover it amongst all the other things that Apple checks. So um, it's quite a lengthy process. And then, then you go through the whole hardware thing. You got to submit your hardware, then you, get, then you get the chip and put it inside here. But in order for the hobbyist and tester to do this, you can go and uh, buy a cable that is approved only for developers to test on, not to ship apps and put it on the app store. Um, and one of them is made by Red Park. I think they're forty to hundred dollars, depending on the type of cable you buy. Um, the cable I'm going to show tonight, I'm going to show a couple of them, is um, the DB9 cable, right? Your basic serial cable that has a serial. This connects to your iPhone, obviously. This is the serial out, and I have a TTL board that I purchased from SparkFun, one of the best um, do-it-yourself uh, um, electronic companies out there. They make a board that plugs into the serial connector and then gives you these headers that you can go ahead and plug into the transmit and the receive here. And they go through it. We also go through it in our course and, and how to connect and, and then send information to the Arduino and, um, and to the iPhone or the iPad. Okay, so this is uh, the DB9 cable and the SparkFun cable, um, which is sold separately. You got to go to SparkFun and uh, connect, and then you'll solder on your pins. I did it on the back side. I could have done the front side just as easily. Now, when you connect, there's a transmit and a receive. 
There's also a ground and a power. So transmit goes into the receive on the Arduino, and the receive goes into the transmit, okay? Also a very important note, when you're uploading sketches to your Arduino, make sure you have, I think it's the, the uh, transmit pulled out of your, I, of your Arduino. It's either the transmit or the receive. Otherwise, your sketch won't upload. Don't ask me why it does it. It's just one of those things that you will find. If you don't remember this, you could spend a couple hours figuring out why your sketch, which used to upload, doesn't upload. Okay? So that is a useful cable, the DB9. The other one that um, Red Park has recently come out with is their TTL cable. And it is just what I said it is. It is a DB9, but it's already got the... Um, the TTL headers already in there, and you don't have to buy that SparkFun cable, do the soldering, and have additional loose things out. Okay, so and then you just take your, you know, connect your your uh, power, your ground, and uh, your transmit receive to your Arduino. Okay, and then they sell a GPS. I had to do a GPS uh, application for a client, avionics company. And they sell, that sends all the, um, uh, the GPS information um, in the format that the apps expect it to on there. Um, okay, again, very important to remember, you cannot ship, ship apps to the App Store with apps written with this cable. All right? No bueno. It will be rejected. Okay? You can only submit apps to the App Store that talk to connected devices, hardware devices, through a cable that have the special chip in it. This is only sold, and it says specifically at Red Park site that this is for the hobbyist. You cannot submit apps to the App Store um, that were written using this. There's a library, and you have to embed your, um, uh, your bundle setting um, that is approved by Apple, and you'll use Spark Funds, which will not be approved. So... Just I, I get clients all the time that said, hey, we can buy 100 of these or 1,000 of these cables and submit them to the App Store or our app. No, you can't. Okay, This is only for the hobbyists, only for testing, only for development. Okay, You'll have to go through, if you want to connect a cable to your hardware device through Apple's MFI program. All right. Um, so hopefully this was useful. For those of you that are attending live, you can... Um, um, ask questions here in just a few seconds when I stop the recording. Those of you that are listening you, to YouTube can go to my website at excelme.com. And in the upper right uh, portion of the, um, of the website is a free video tab that says free video. Just click on the free videos and you can watch all the past ones. You can see what's coming up. I update these. I'll have, have a, the new sessions uh, updated here soon. You can also register to listen to the webinar and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you automatically get notified when um, the videos are uploaded. Thanks for listening. For those of you that are listening to YouTube and those of the, you that are attending live, I will take your questions as soon as I stop the recording. Thanks, everybody.